now to our weekly Working for Our Community segment where we feature a worthy nonprofit. Today is all about the Helen Noel Foundation. Helen, a San Diego mom, died young from breast cancer, but as CBS 8's Jenny Day shows us, her family is making sure that her legacy lives on. She was just so full of life and um, loved, was always the party. Like she would turn even like going grocery shopping into an adventure. Helen Knoll, a great mom, wife, and emergency room nurse. We were just living the life of a young family. She was diagnosed with breast cancer at just 33. After eight years in remission, it came back at stage four. Once she had passed away, as a dad, I said, there has to be things that my daughters can be doing to be proactive and not just wait and see. So in lieu of flowers, the family started the Helen Knoll Foundation the day of her funeral, and it's only grown since. They found there was a lot more information out there about what to do once you have it, so their approach to beating breast cancer has become preventing it altogether. It's really where the foundation has really been focused in the last 10 years um, is really on prevention and education for young women so that we can be proactive uh, and make those changes in our life versus just having to wait and see. They've used her story to educate girls across Southern California high schools and college campuses, groups and clubs, all to save countless other lives. More obvious ones of like making sure you're getting enough water and exercising and um, decreasing your stress. Also knowing what type of estrogen and birth control and being proactive about what we're putting into our bodies. They also encourage us to know our numbers, specifically our D3 levels. The foundation is working with lawmakers to get the biannual test covered by insurance. UCSD research has shown that if you can keep your um, blood serum level at 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter that you can see a reduction in the occurrence of breast cancer by 77 percent and the reoccurrence of breast cancer by 50 percent. The Helen Knoll Foundation also wants you to be your own advocate because early detection saves lives. The current recommendation for women at average risk is to start mammograms at age 50. For years before, it was age 40. But remember, Helen was diagnosed at 33 and died at 48. We can really stop and save lives and make our community so much, so much fuller. You can become a Helen Knoll ambassador and they'll help you organize an event or simply volunteer your time or make a donation. Working for our community, Jenny Day, CBS 8.